Hello and welcome to Think It, Believe It, and Achieve It. Hi everyone, I am Chande Langworthy and I am always so excited to bring to you Think It, Believe It, and Achieve It. This is the show where you will find motivation, inspiration, and encouragement to become the best version of yourself. Now today, I have an exciting show. I have Susie Owens here. She is a, a program manager for the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce. She's going to be sharing a lot of information for us to be able to join uh, or become a part of, to some extent or degree, um, with the Omaha Chamber of Commerce. So please help me welcome Susie Owens on our show today. Hi, Susie. Welcome to Think It, Believe It, and Achieve It. How are you today? I'm good. Thank good. you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's good to see you. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I really am interested in knowing more about the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce myself because it was, uh, a, I guess, like an entity that I had been meaning to reach out to just for the show I do and different things like that. So mm -hmm. it's great that you uh, are joining me today. Now, we're going to just jump right in and talk a little bit about what you do, what the Omaha Chamber of Commerce, what it stands for, who it uh, helps or represents, and things like that. But before we get started, because you are the program manager over diver diversity and inclusion, correct? I thought maybe we at least start with uh, giving our, our viewers a little bit of information about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now, diversity basically, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is really the quality of including all walks of life, uh, no matter what your ethnic background is, no matter what your social, your sexual orientation, your gender, so that's the diversity part of it. And then you have uh, equity, and equity is really about being fair and just mm -hmm. when you think about um, equality. So diversity, equity, and inclusion is just being included in a structured, structured type of group or setting or something like that. So with you being the program um, manager, for diversity and inclusion. What does that entail for you as it relates to the Chamber of Commerce? Maybe you can tell us a little bit about how that relates to you and, and also the Chamber of Commerce and what it stands for. Excellent, yes, I'd be happy to. So um, the Chamber is really um, an entity that wants to make Omaha a great place to work, live, play, do business. Okay. And so through memberships, businesses can sign on to be become a member of the Greater Omaha Chamber, and then they receive benefits for being a member. So um, we put on networking events, we put on workshops to help them grow their business, we convene them uh, around certain topics of interest in the community to kind of just bring the business community in to help solve these issues going on. And, and one of those um, is around diversity and inclusion in Omaha. So CODE is the team that I'm a member of. It okay. stands for the Commitment to Opportunity, Diversity, and Equity. Okay. So that is the name of our team. And okay. that entails our senior director, Bianca Harley. She's been here since the inception of CODE three years ago at okay. the chamber. So she really leads the work. And then there's two program managers, myself, for community diversity and inclusion. And then our third teammate is Riddell Nared, and uh, he does diversity and education. So okay. um, we really convene the business community. Like I said, we have several meetings when folks are a member of the chamber and they want to be a part of the work to move diversity in Omaha in workplaces forward. They can sign on to our pledge, uh, our diversity pledge that we have on the website. So. The pledge just asks them to create some strategies around diversity at their workplace, to hire someone to do the work or, or put that responsibility on someone existing, just so there's a leader of the mm -hmm. diversity initiatives at that workplace. And then also we have a workplace assessment, which just helps them have measurable goals around diversity. So businesses can become a member of the chamber and then they can sign the pledge 
they really want to help move diversity forward in oh. Omaha. Oh, wow, that's excellent. Now, you, you mentioned businesses, but if you're just an individual, are, are, are individuals able to come on and be a part of the Chamber of Commerce as well, or is this just for business? It really focuses on businesses, but um, inclusive of businesses. That's small businesses, that's the one member LLC. Okay. You know, you might just be one person who has your LLC and does business, all the way up to businesses that have 5,000 employees or 50,000 employees. Okay. So really just any business person can um, meet with our memberships team if they have questions about becoming a member of the chamber okay. to learn all the benefits that you get by being a member of the chamber. Okay, so just to kind of reiterate or make sure I understood what you were saying is that so far as the diversity is concerned, the business, the chamber of commerce kind of collaborate with the business to help them, uh, their business be more diverse. Yes, okay. yes. Our main goal is to, um, with the code programs, is to help workplace diversity and inclusion become stronger. So okay. for, it looks different for different businesses. So we have meetings with the business leaders where we talk about recruiting diverse talent, making sure they stay, having talent programs to help diverse talent be successful in the workplace. Is it um, making sure that your businesses are a welcoming space for women, for mm -hmm. people of color, for veterans, for people with disabilities? Okay. It really, for multiple generations. So diversity, a lot of times people think of racial diversity, but we mean diversity to be inclusive of all different oh. kind of identities in the workplace, can they come at work and be themselves and, and still have equal opportunity in the workplace? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome because I think one of the problems that we, I mean, when I was in corporate America, you found a lot of, uh, you know, it wasn't, or I should say it just wasn't comfortable mm -hmm. being in work spaces that uh, was not really diverse mm -hmm. and not just in the racial form, but overall of yep. all those things that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that is also what helps make the impact more viable is that we're not just talking about race, we're talking about on every level mm -hmm. to become diverse. So that's how we make the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you are the, the Omaha Chamber of Commerce, they have different events. Now, is there a calendar or something that say the um, viewers or we can follow with the different events that the Chamber of Commerce have that if we're oh, yes. interested in? Yes, definitely. You can go to omahachamber.org and there's at the very top of uh, the website, there's a tab for events mm -hmm. and you can look at the events calendar. There's some reoccurring events like our conference on opportunity, diversity and equity that we're going to talk about today. Um, um, but there's also just pop-up events that come up. So be sure to bookmark that events tab on the website and check back frequently to register for chamber events. Like I said, um, there's Coffee and Contacts, which just is a kind of networking mm -hmm. event where people can come and meet other uh, people, business leaders in the community network, um, get contacts to help grow their business. There's also the large scale conferences, like we have a young professionals conference, so focus on young professionals. We have the diversity, um, the conference in October that we'll be talking about. So there's big scale events, but also just events throughout the week or throughout the month okay. that are, are smaller level events for networking purposes or, or just connecting with the business community. Oh, that's amazing, that's excellent. So with the climate that we're in with COVID, and I know it's kind of simmering down, it's kind of going through a wave or whatever. Are these events, are they in person? Are they virtual or, or is it vary? Does it vary? Yes, um, it, it, varies. it varies. Yeah, right now um, for the conference specifically, that's what I have responsibility over planning. Right now it is scheduled to be some hybrid um, pieces. So it is mostly, mostly virtual online. Um, people can log on to attend and hear the speakers, but we do have a in-person uh, networking event planned the night before. So people okay. can meet in person the night before and then they log on for the conference the next two days and hopefully they can think back to someone they met in person that they might want to connect with 
online. So oh. a lot of our events are moving back to virtual events just for the safety of the community mm -hmm. um, and because numbers are increasing at this time. But check back, always just refer to the events website because it'll clearly dictate, yes, this is a virtual event or, or if it's not. But right now, most things are virtual. Okay, so uh, what are some of the what are some of the, the goals that, whether they're near or in the future, the Omaha Chamber of Commerce, what are some of the goals that they hope to achieve like in the very near future and even moving forward? Like is there, like you said, there's a calendar. Does a calendar, is it like a yearly calendar or is it just updated, um, you know, monthly or whatever so mm -hmm. yeah some some events are annual so i spoke to the yp summit that happens every single year and so um also the conference on opportunity diversity and equity happens every year so there are some of the signature events um that happen every year and then there's uh but always there's events going on throughout the month in different departments. the chamber actually does a lot of different things we do leadership development through programs like Leadership Omaha or Lead Diversity, which helps train, uh, train people in the community to be really great diversity advocates. So we have kind of ongoing programs that go for several months because it's leadership development. We have kind of one-off events and we have our signature annual events. So again, just I would encourage viewers to uh, look at our website to stay up to date, sign up for the newsletter to stay up to date on okay. what is going on with the chamber. So what is the this conference that's coming up in October. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a conference where, it, for speakers that, or is it a conference where attendees can come and learn more about diversity? What mm -hmm. is this particular or specific conference that's coming up? It's in October, right? What's the name of it and what is it aimed to to mm -hmm. goals to do? Yes, we just call it the conference. Okay. But it does uh, kind of stand shorthand for the Conference on Opportunity, Diversity, and Equity, because that's what our greater uh, team is called the commitment to opportunity, diversity, and equity. So the conference is kind of a play on that. So that is what we focus on there. So applications for speakers did open up in April. So mm -hmm. those are closed for anyone who's interested in being speaker because we did just open up registration. Okay. So now people can register or attend. So if they go to the website, they can see our list of speakers and topics. But I'll give you a little preview of some of the topics that we will be covering. We'll be having a presentation on gender transition in the workplace. Okay. So um, the, uh, the speakers will be talking about what it's like to transition maybe from um, a woman to a man, what that oh, looks wow. like, what that experience is like in okay. the workplace and how workplaces can be inclusive of someone. Like maybe they might change the way they dress. Maybe they want to go by a different name. So how can workplaces be a safe place for people who are going through that transition? Another topic we'll be talking about is uh, Native American land acknowledgement and how it's important for all of us to acknowledge that the land, especially um, in the United States is land that Native Americans occupied way before we got here. And how can we acknowledge uh, the people who were original to this land? So that's another topic. We also are going to talk about um, employee resource groups. So that's uh, some of the companies have groups for um, the women's network or the black employee network. How can we really capitalize on those employee resource groups to make sure they're a place where people can get connected and find support within their workplace, but also grow in their leadership skills, be seen by upper level management so they can get um, opportunities. So we'll be um, talking about lots of different diversity topics. That's why it's over two days. Right. So okay. people will be able to come and choose the sessions that they attend after they register. And you can see all the titles and all the speakers on our website now. Oh, wow. This is sounding like it's gonna be a really big deal. <laughs> I mean, a big deal in the sense that number one, it's going to s serve so many businesses, so many um, businesses that may be struggling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the employees that they have and how to manage them properly and how to really lead them in a way that's positive that relates to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Because a lot of times when you're on your job, you know, at some point you feel like either it's not diverse or either, you know, I don't feel inclusive right, or right. I don't feel fair. It doesn't yeah. feel fair. So I think right. it's 
I think it's amazing. I think it's applaudable that this is, bring, this is being brought to the front line and being, you know, discussed openly. Mm -hmm. And because we need, we need that anchor of support for the businesses, for the people that show up for work every day, because a lot of people yes. don't even like to show up for these main reasons. So yeah. I really am interested myself personally um, in learning more about everything that yes. the Chamber of uh, Commerce of Omaha does. So I'm really looking forward to maybe uh, joining a conference mm -hmm. or you know seeing what it's about, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers may be even interested in learning more about how the Chamber of Commerce, because I'm sure in addition to the diversity, equity, and inclusion, there's other areas within the Chamber of Commerce that businesses and or individuals can uh, maybe join and be a part of. But for, for this purposes or all intended purposes, mm -hmm. we are just kind of focusing on this diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, that's my specific role at this chamber and the role of our team. But back to one of your earlier questions is, is there a place for individuals maybe? Um, and for the conference, yes, we encourage uh, people who are business leaders, people who are community leaders, and people who are what we call individual advocates. They're just a, a person who cares about diversity and inclusion, and they want to learn more about how they can be a part of that here right. in Omaha. We encourage all those people to attend the conference. So yes, whether you work for a, a big Fortune 500 company or a little mom and pop shop, or if you're in between jobs right now, I think you could still find value mm -hmm. in the speakers and the workshops that we have planned for the conference. And the information that you will be sharing, I mean, just as an attendee, you may be able to take some information back to wherever you work. That's the goal. And, <laughs> yes. and share this information. So I think this is a really big deal that more uh, organizations, you know, c can collectively come together and really speak openly about this diversity, equity, and inclusion. And especially for those people who feel excluded on one level or the next. So I really commend uh, the Chamber of, of Commerce mm -hmm. in this whole event for just talking about this. Just yeah, getting that's it what out we want to do is get it out there. And the first year was in person. Uh, last year was virtual due to mm -hmm. COVID, and this year will be mostly virtual with a couple in-person opportunities, at least for now. Mm -hmm. And um, we've had over 900 people attend this conference virtual last year. And so we're hoping to, again, just increase those numbers and wow. get the word out to even more business and individual people and community people who care about these issues. And so um, because it's online, there's room for everybody, there's you know? There's room for so, everybody. Yeah. So we encourage, we encourage yes. you to contact the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce because this is an event, this conference is really going to uh, be the difference or make the difference in learning more about what diversity, equity, and inclusion looks like and who is it going, how can it impact you and why it's important to yep. know what diversity really looks like on many levels, not just your, uh, your ethnic background, right. but it's, it services many levels, especially in the workplace. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. The workplace is probably one of the first places that we experience diversity or not, equity or not, inclusion or not. Yes. And then um, that also ties into when, how people feel, their emotions, mm -hmm. you know. And then, I, I mean, in the workshop or in the conference, will they s speak about if you are an individual that feels left out of diverse, either one of these. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people don't even know where to start to go, to, who to, compl I shouldn't mm -hmm. use the word complain, but they don't even know as individuals or as employees, you don't have an idea like, who can I talk to about mm -hmm. my feelings about being in this space that's very uncomfortable. So does the workshop, do you think it'll cover something like that where 
you know, mm -hmm. as a, an individual. A yeah. lot of the uh, folks who come to the conference are HR professionals, so they okay. work in human resources. Oh, okay. And also uh, people who are the DEI leaders within their organizations. Okay. And uh, so CEOs, it's all level up and down through the organization, people who attend this conference, but I believe they attend because they want to make their workplaces better. And so I feel like if you are a person who's feeling excluded or something in the workplace to uh, see if your company is uh, represented, you will be able to see if you're an attendee, you'll be able to see and network with other people who are attending the conference. Mm -hmm. There's even a space on the online platform for discussion groups. So you can make a discussion post and say, I'm new to Omaha, I want to help make Omaha more inclusive for everyone. Can you all give me ideas of where I can volunteer? Or okay. um, I'm new to my organization, I don't know a lot of people. Are there people who work at company ABC who are here? Maybe you connect with them and you uh, connect with them and send them a message and ask them for coffee. So we don't want the conversations to stop at the conference. Okay. We want it to be an opportunity to start these discussions, but exactly to your point that they the discussions go back into the workplace, they go back into the community. Um, that people, individuals connect um, on these issues and that the work is year round, not just when the conference comes up. So this right. will be ongoing work. R right, ongoing. And I like, the, uh, like what you said. You don't wanna just bring it to back. Okay, so you don't wanna just bring the information back to your organization or your company. You really wanna start making a difference with what you have experienced or what you have learned or the knowledge you've received so that you can start making a change in your organization and or with yourself. And within yourself, right? So mm -hmm. that's always a great place to start within yourself. I always say, you know, we want to lead by example. Yes. What better way to lead than by absolutely showing the way you should you know, handle situations or the way you should address situations in a positive way. And uh, I think that information of learning leadership and how to be that stand up person, but in a tactful way, I think that makes all the difference um, in a company. But as we said before, starting with self, because I think everything mm -hmm. starts with self. And yeah. when we can self regulate, mm -hmm then we can really, you know, yep. make a difference and make a change. Um, but can you uh, give us just one more time, if you're interested in learning more about diversity, equity, and inclusion with the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce, exactly one more time for our viewers, where should they go, who should they contact, and how do they get started if they're interested in no learning more about uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the diversity, equity, and inclusion? Yes, please, um, you can check out our website, omahachamber.org. If you're interested in the conference, you can go to the events page and see all the chamber events, but in October, you'll see listed the conference virtual event, you can register there. We will have scholarship opportunities also for folks in the community who are passionate about this. Maybe their employer um, isn't sponsoring them to attend, they, but they care about this work. We will have 20 seats available for scholarships opportunities. So please um, make sure you go to the website and apply for a scholarship also if um, that will meet your needs or talk to your workplace and kind of see, are they, are they uh, doing work in this area and are they planning to attend and can you attend with your workplace? Well, thank you so much, Susie Owens from the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining me here on Think It, Believe It and Achieve It. And I would like to invite you back, you know, somewhere along the line or in the future to see exactly how the conference turned out and, you know, if there was, there is some opportunities more going forward, moving forward, other, other things to come up or other things that the community should know about. So that would be another time you can come and visit us so we can just follow up and keep updated on what's going on in Greater Omaha. 
That sounds How's great. That sound? Okay, well, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for joining me today here on Think It, Believe It, and Achieve It. Once again, I am Chande Langworthy, and it's always a pleasure to bring you Think It, Believe It, and Achieve It. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and stay well.